Hey friends, happy Tuesday. Yeah, another setup. I know. Um, I'm actually still in the same area. I'm just kind of in a different location of our living room. I already talked about this a little bit in the homeschool vlog that I've been recording for, that I'm hoping to upload by the end of this week um, for the second segment of September. Um, if you guys remember back in August when we got back from Washington, we brought a chair home with us, a really nice comfy chair. However, we didn't realize until we got it home, it smelled, it smelled bad. It was saturated of cigarette smoke, no matter what I did, um, it still was just awful. Uh, so my husband took the, the cushion off, like completely unbolted it from the, the frame, only to find out that the crossbars were also broken on it. Now, how did we not realize the cigarette smoke when we bought it? You may be asking. Well, Thrift stores, as you know, are kind of musty smelling anyways. And there was wildfires going in Washington, Oregon, and Northern California when we were coming home. And going up there. Everywhere was on fire, it seemed. So because of the smell of the air and everything, you really don't smell it. Even in our car, you know, all we were smelling was smoke from the wildfires. So we didn't really see it, or uh, see it smell it until um, we got home and got it set up and we were sitting in it and we couldn't figure out what that smell was and then I smelled the chair and it's like ooh. Um, so it's a sad unfortunate situation. Uh, so here we are back to the drawing board. Um, I am sitting in fold up chairs yet again that's okay, at least I have somewhere to sit other than the floor or my closet. So, right now I am sitting in our little desk area that I set up for us for the homeschool, and I can sit here and I can crochet while he's working next to me. Um, but yeah, so for right now I'm just kind of, I'm rolling with it, I'm, I'm still trying to reorganize stuff. Uh, I'm kind of debating if I might move his desk down to where I'm sitting and then I go back over up against the wall so that when I'm recording you can see my wonderful sign that I purchased and everything for the channel. So it's just a lot. It's just a lot of reconfiguring and reorganizing. And another thing I thought about possibly doing is moving my area behind me, but then I would lose that entire section there where I have all my craft cart and craft bins and stuff like that. So I cannot put anything else behind me because I already have our bookshelves, the cube organizers with all our books and all kinds of other stuff. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what it's been. Um, I'm loving the cooler temperatures. For the most part, we do have a couple of days where it's really humid and hot. Um, but for the most part, the nights have cooled down. My comforter, I've had to pull it back out and put away the throw blankets. Um, and my air conditioner's off, thank goodness, because oh my gosh, just running it for a week really killed the electricity bill. Um, but yeah. So I've been shopping, not a lot. Um, I've been looking for sales, uh, clearance, Aldi. Yes, I saw the Aldi pumpkins on Facebook and YouTube and I'm like, I kinda need those in my life. So 
we have several Aldi's all around us. Um, we don't have one in our city, but they're in surrounding cities. So to the north, to the south, to the east, whatever. So I was thinking, I was thinking, I was like, okay, let's go to one I haven't been to before. So we went to one to the north of us about 20, 25 minutes on Friday. And I had to get a couple of grocery items anyways. It had been a while since I'd been to Aldi, so I wanted a couple of my favorite snacks from there. And we're walking, we're walking, and I had my husband with me and our little buddy, and I told my husband what I was looking for. We found him. I'm so thankful I had him with us because this was the last of the darker orange and this one was all the way in the back of the shelf no matter how far i reached no matter how high i stood on my tippy toes i could not reach this one at the back of the shelf now i hope everything's in here because the bottom was kind of like pulled up a little bit the box is kind of a little bit damaged but i don't think it's going to matter so there's the dark orange one, and then I found a lighter orange one, and they had a ton of this one, tons of this one. And then they also had um, the macrame pumpkin kits, which I know how to do macrame. I was more in the in the market for the crochet ones. Um, these were $4.99 a kit. It says it is a beginner friendly kit. And then everything that it includes is there. What it does not include is there. Um, each kit makes one pumpkin. So I will get onto these maybe next week. Uh, right now I'm working on the Hobby Lobby kit that I showed you in last week's video. <laughs> we'll talk about that tomorrow on uh, Whip Wednesday. Because, um,. I'm glad I didn't pay full price. We're just going to leave it at that. I am so glad I did not pay $17.99 for that kit. Anyways. So then, and I'm not going in order of when I purchased this stuff in the last week. We went to our Walmart on, I think it was Saturday. I had to get cat food and a couple other things like that. And... Our Walmart Supercenter, that's to the north of us, um, is under major renovation right now. They're actually doing, they're completely redoing the entire store. Like, I walk, we walked in this time, and normally right in front of us is, like, the coffee makers and all the kitchen utensils and stuff like that. No, it was all Halloween this time, and all the aisles were switched a different direction, and... I felt like I was on vacation again because it was set up just like a Walmart we would go to in like another town when we're on vacation. It, is, it was so funny. Um, but of course, I made a V-line right to the back of the store where I knew they were, they had the clearance area set up. Because that's just kind of a thing that I've done now since they've um, started doing the renovation and I was told a little insider secret that that's where they're going to be putting all their clearance yarn and craft supplies and clearance from throughout the store. So I went back there and holy yarn. <laughs> um, there was tons of yarn, tons and tons of yarn on the clearance. However, a majority of it was like the, um, thinner, like three weight yarns. I think it was Lion Brand Woolies, the really thin, stuff from from lion brand woolies um i was gonna get them but then i'm like you know what no i'm kind of in the market for thicker yarns because it's coming into that time of the year where i'm gonna start working on more scarves hats shawls that kind of thing so what i found was these and these are the premier puzzle and these are in the colorway Hangman. Now, these are marked $5 a piece. I didn't pay $5. I paid $3.50 a skein for these. Um, and I purchased two of them. Yeah, they're kind of all in disarray, but I don't care. 
Um, 328 yards, bulky five, six millimeter knitting needle and crochet hook. Uh, machine wash cold, tumble dry. Yeah, so there's that. So also with that, they had some knitting and crochet tools on there. So I found another loom and I know I don't have any any looms like this from boy so this just shows you on the back here what comes in this loom set and if you see it says seven dollars I didn't pay seven dollars I paid five so all the clearance prices were cheaper than what was marked on the item so I was good that's all I bought from the clearance rack I could have bought a whole lot more but I was not there for I was not there for yarn and fun stuff. I was there for needs. But spoiled myself just a little bit. So then last week I had to go to Michael's and get the plastic um, ornaments because what I do with these is I loom it around these. And then I either give them to, as Christmas gifts or whatever. So I needed to go get these before they started selling out because they, our Michaels does sell a lot of those, believe it or not. Um, so I jumped on the, I jumped on the right now. Um, what all is in this bag? I forgot what I bought. Well, I know I bought embroidery floss because that's for. Uh, for Christmas ornaments that I will be doing and I'll be showing that um, and then I bought some pretty like gold and silver embroidery floss I'll be showing you that project as I go along it'll be part of my whips um, and when I went to Michael's they had 30% off their yarn well another thing I always do when I go to Michael's is I always go to the clearance. Not necessarily right as I get into Michael's, but I always like to visit the clearance yarns when I go. I say yarns because they've had some yarns on there forever. Nobody seems to want them because they're just the cruddy kind. Um, so when I walked back there, I found these for $3 a piece, regular $7.99. These are Loops and Threads Delicate DK Acrylic Blend, 315 yards in the color Cotton Candy, and it's a light three, four millimeter knitting needle and crochet hook is the recommendation. So I purchased two of these. I'm like, mm, two's not going to be enough. So these were already only $6 for the two. So I walked over to the yarn aisle. And like I said, they had 30% off, so I didn't pay full price for this next one. Um, but I found this one to go with it, and it's the same specs. And this one's in the color Blossom Multi. I figured that would look really pretty together with that pink. So this was $7.99 original, 30% off. And then um, I was watching one of Jennifer's videos over at Cinnamon Stitches recently, and she was showing some yarns that she had purchased. And she showed this one, which is in the color Dragonfly Multi. It's a bulky five, nine millimeter knitting needle and an eight millimeter crochet hook is the recommendation. Um, this is the Charisma Yarns. 109 yards, 100% acrylic, machine wash, warm, gentle cycle, do not bleach, tumble dry, low, do not iron. This screams Halloween to me. Like, it just screams Halloween. Look at all that. However, sadly, they only had one left. Can't do a whole lot with 109 yards. So I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking to see what other Charisma yarns they have that would go with it. Now, mind you, the, the yarn section was very 
slim pickings by this point because it was at the end of the sale and yeah but I was not leaving without this one this one's just it's it's so pretty so then I found black so I have two black and then this one and I don't know if I'm gonna do black on black and then put this one at the bottom or put this one in the middle I, I haven't decided I haven't even decided what I'm gonna do yet but these are 109 yards um, times three so I'm thinking maybe just a scarf or something You need to go that way. You're on. You, you're not supposed to be. There you go, goofy. <laughs> um. Anyways, yeah. So that was that. And then these were also on sale. Um, Brenda's knots and loops. I I have talked about her before with the Stenley yarns. Um. She has been adding some gorgeous, gorgeous colors lately. Uh, Christmas yarns and, and all kinds of stuff. And um, I was like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself as an early birthday gift. My birthday is not until December. However, she had one that represented my birthstone color really well. Look at that beauty. And this is the Stenley Muffin Magic Drops. It recommends between a three to a five crochet hook and a four and a half to a five and a half knitting needle. Um, eighty percent acrylic and twenty percent lurex. I do not remember how many yards these are. These I know they are big enough you can make a shawl. So I purchased this one, and I did this now. Just because I know her yarns sell out super, super fast. Especially right now, she's getting all these new yarns in for Christmas and stuff like that. So, I wanted to jump on them. I wanted to get them before they were gone. And then this other one that I purchased is just, it's a solid color. But it just screams Christmas and holidays to me. It's like a maroon or burgundy. And it's got the... The little um, glitter stuff going through it. You know, my brain's not working. Um, so this one recommends between a three and a three and a half knitting needle and a one to a three crochet hook. And this one is 80% cotton and 10% polyester and 10% lurex. So the lurex is that, that shiny stuff. Um... So, yeah. That has been my fun for the week. It looks like I spent a lot, but I really, in real reality, even with the Stanley yarns, I was well under 100 bucks. And I can tell you most of this, I'm, well, the pumpkins I'll keep, but the yarns are going to be used, the yarns, the embroidery floss, all that's going to be used for... Um, most of it's, it's going to be for gifts. So this is the time of year where I really start thinking about Christmas and who's getting what and what I'm making for who and that kind of thing. So anyways, so tomorrow, oh, I did go to Hobby Lobby and look at their clearance yarns because I guess Hobby Lobby's having another clearance. Well, their clearance yarns were garbage. It's just, it's that loopy yarn that you like use for finger looping or I don't know. It was just, uh, -uh. but I did get some, um, I love this cotton three skeins of it. I will not show it to you until Thursday because Thursday we are going to, uh, crochet a wind spinner. So get some yarn together for that and we'll be doing that. I did not pay full price. Excuse me. I did not pay full price for those either. I bought them on sale. So I count that as a win for thrifty, um, for thrifty Thursday because 
I will be able to get more than one or two wind spinners out of this. I'll be able to make multiple items out of each skein. So gather some yarn and your coordinating crochet hooks. And we will do that for Thursday. Um, I'm going to try and record Thursday's video tomorrow night because I have a meeting Thursday morning. However, if I'm not able to do that, I will record the video Thursday afternoon and get it up by Thursday evening. It will be up sometime Thursday. I just don't know when. Um, tomorrow, I actually have stuff to show you that I've been doing. Um, I finished the baby blanket, so I'll show you that tomorrow. I finished a scarf. <laughs> I'll show you that tomorrow. Um, and then that lovely pumpkin kit that I have been working on so tirelessly. And I mean that. I mean that when I say that. That it, this kit has been exhausting. Um, so anyways, with that, friends, we're at 20 minutes. I'm going to jump off of here. I've got a bunch of stuff to do today. And I still need to eat breakfast. It's only like... Actually, it's probably almost lunchtime now. I hate when I do this. But yeah, I need to go eat. And then I'm going to have to pick my daughter up from work soon. So anyways, friends, remember that I love you. God loves you. Be kind to one another. And I will see you tomorrow for Whip Wednesday. Bye, guys.